It's the people who don't fit in who change the world. What is up guys, welcome back to Rage, another video on this channel and in today's video, yep, I am here with another extraordinary book. This book is continuing the theme of the books which I have been reviewing these days, but it's not exactly like those books. It's not like extremely sad and all, a little bit sad, extremely adventurous and funny. This book, I had a good laugh in this book and it's a little bit violence which makes this book restricted below the age for nine. So for me, my opinion is that I enjoyed this book like anything. Thanks to my mom who suggested me this book. I loved it. And now what happened is that this book has become the favorite, the most favorite book of mine. Sorry for making you wait till now. Let me tell you the book. So the book is Flamingo Boy by Michael Morpurgo. I loved this book so much. Now I hope you will too. Let us see and jump into the gist about this book which is behind this book. What is broken can always be mended. Mom and Chogo, remember that. In the unique landscape of Kamagyu during World War II, Lawrence who lives among the salt flats and the flamingos. There are lots of things he doesn't understand, but he does know how to tame animals, how to heal them, and how to talk to them, the flamingos especially. He loves music and routine and every week he goes to the market with his mother. It's there he meets Kezia who helps her parents run their carousel and who shows him how to ride the wooden horse as the music plays. But then the German soldiers come. Everything is threatened. Kezia, Lorenzo's beloved flamingos and the carousel. Yet there are kind people even among the soldiers and there is always hope. So this book extremely amazing. I suggest you this book. Please read this and I hope you will enjoy this. Okay, the background of mine has become extremely dark. Never mind. Let's say continue in the book and let's say jump into the book. So the main character of the book, Vincent Montague, begins the book with a story and in this story, the teacher appoints everyone to draw a story. So Vincent drew a story of an old man with his horse and following the bend of the road. The, when the policeman asks him, he replies that he is going to follow the bend of the road. And old man asked the police officer, where is he going? And the police officer replied that he is also going to follow the bend of the road. And I don't know why, but Vincent always remembered the story. So he drew it and his teacher loved it, so did his mother. So he hung this, so she, his mother, hung the painting above his bed. There was actually two paintings. One is the story and the other one was a boat picture which was signed by Vincent. But not him. There was another Vincent who was Vincent Van Gogh. Okay, so the weather is extremely terrible here. It's starting to rain and it's a bit windy. Never mind. So let's continue. So what happens is that he just was extremely curious. Who is with this Vincent Van Gogh? And he gets a book where he gets to know about Vincent Van Gogh. And he also liked another painting of Vincent Van Gogh. And then one time he experiences near death experience. The painting fell away. I will remind you the boat painting was extremely huge and it fell down and Vincent actually had a heart attack or something. And then he saw the painting was fell fell down and he tried to pick it and then he got a letter and that letter it, it was written by his grandmother and his grandfather. So the painting which he was holding was drew in a beach. I actually don't know the place where this beach is. I guess it's somewhere in the France. So yeah. So his grandmother and grandfather went there and they got this painting signed by Vincent Van Gogh and now they gifted it to her, his grandson. And now Vincent is now extremely curious. After the age of 18, Vincent goes there in this place and he was extremely happy now as he came to this place. After one or two days, what happens is that he becomes sick and he fell down and slept away. 
and then somebody carried him and was running. Vincent woke up and he saw that he was being like bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Somebody was telling Renzo, Renzo, Renzo and running and running and they were heavily breathing. But Vincent didn't care about it. He came back into his dream world. After he woke up, he saw himself on a couch. In front of him, there was an old lady writing a notebook. When the old lady saw Vincent, she was extremely happy and she introduced herself. And then she always she called Renzo, Renzo, who is this Renzo? Vincent had no idea. And then it was none other than Lorenzo, the main character which we discussed in the summary of the book. And the old lady was Kezia. So after one or two days, now he was feeling some familiar, the same familiar faces of Kezia and Lorenzo when he always wakes up from his afternoon nap. And one time he tells a story to Kezia and Kezia tells her story to Vincent. I have to tell you this, I have to mention this point that this book story is actually more than the book itself. It's so amazing. Like, yup, I seriously tell you, Kezia's story is so long, so amazing. But never mind, I won't tell that long story at all. So what happens is that Kezia was running a kagazu with her mom and dad. You all know it. And then Lorenzo comes, he sees the he sees the Kagauzu and he saw the horse, he started shouting, Val, 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 Val. What is this Val? Kezia had no idea. But it was the short form of Cheval, which he loved to call the horses, especially his own horse, which is in his house. And he has this point, like he always sees the names half in a short form like for flamingos he says flam 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 and for cheval he says val 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 and for dragons he says agons and something and kezia liked lorenzo she always loved to see his glad face and she went to lorenzo's mother for tuitions and after a while she would spend some time with lorenzo and she would go to the camelot of lorenzo camelot was a fortress like something in lorenzo's house backyard and he always loved to stay in the camelot and he would always do some actions in the king author books which were many in his place there were many books in his house and he always read it he was extremely happy and he was doing the same signs he was taking the sword out of the stone he would do like this and he'll do lick 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 it was so amazing to see and actually not see it's my imaginations so what happens is that lorenzo kezia they were having a great time when the german soldiers arrive so this is where the terrible the most terrible things occur the camp, the um, carousel, what happens is that there was an old big tree and it fell down straight on the carousel and the carousel broke. So what, there was no more carousel, just bits of pieces of carousel. Mom and dad of Kizia were extremely heartbroken. They were extremely sad. But Lorenzo's mom and dad offered Kezia's mom and dad and Kezia to stay with them and so that they could fix the the carousel as well and then the German soldiers occupy the Camelot of Lorenzo. Lorenzo extremely heartbroken. He started fighting the soldiers and then one of the soldiers raised his gun on Lorenzo and then Lorenzo stopped. He was shocked and Kezia ran away friend and she asked him please not to shoot and then they stopped so what happens is that this camelot was used as the army base for them they were keeping all their weapons there and one time what happens is that the main head of the army people was extremely kind just as a summary there are some kind people even from the soldiers and now this guy was extremely kind he had his own child and that's the reason why he was taking care of Lorenzo's family and Kezia's family. And what happens is that his child dies because of an explosion of bomb. And from that time, he was feeling extremely bad and he was saving all the kids' family. And one time what happens is that Kezia's mom and dad were kidnapped as they were wolves 
They were worms and they were discriminated. And Kezia's mom and dad were kidnapped and they had an extremely humiliating life. But they were all right. In the ending, they came back and they were reunited. And one time, the Germans asked Kezia's family and Lorenzo's family to leave the place as soon as possible because the Americans were going to come and they had to burst all the weapons Germans had and so they were going to blast it and they didn't want Kezia's family and Lorenzo's family to get disturbed and troubled by this explosion. So the main head took them far away and that time he was extremely happy. Now as they came back after the explosion they were united again. Now thanks to the German soldier them because after the explosion all the glass in the house burst off. Now, after a long time, after 20 years, now as she is telling the story, the next day she takes him to the Kagauzel, which is still running by her younger sister. And then Lorenzo sees some old person and then she, he recognizes him. Pora, I mean Kalpo, Kalpo, as he calls the Kalporel. And it was, it was Capo, actually, Capo. Yep, now Lorenzo, Kezia were all happy. Vincent saw the childhood again. He saw it again. He saw them, all of them together. And now, as he has fulfilled his wish, and he saw another story, which was extremely amazing, and now he went back. So, I have to tell you, this is so amazing. It has 288 pages, and it feels like 600 pages, extremely so long story i loved it so continues so on and on and on and on i was so curious what would come in the next page what is the next twist and all i hope you will too so this was it for this book i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a big thumbs up to this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on the post notification and let us meet in the next video with another spectacular book so yep We'll meet in the next video. Make sure to read this book and goodbye.